How you doing folks? Today I'm going to be doing a um, short video on how to disassemble, clean and reassemble my Marlin Model 79 5SS. This guy replaced my Model 60 and I haven't seen any videos out there on how to take it apart, clean it and put it back together. So I decided to do one to help out everybody. I kind of had to figure out how to do mine on my own. It's not that difficult. But uh, it gets a little tricky in some areas, like uh, when you're taking this apart over here, it's different than my Model 60. It has a uh, Allen 964 instead of regular um, Phillips screwdriver. And in the front, it doesn't have the slide that goes over to catch the barrel. It's This is a flooring barrel, so it's, it's different than my old model 60 so i figured i'd do a short video help out everybody on uh, how to take it apart and clean it it's not that difficult but it is different than the 60 like i was saying first of all let's clean up clean the gun make sure that there's no rounds in it take out the magazine run the bolt look inside clean nothing in there first thing you got to do Take these two out on the old 60 model and 70 model and have one underneath here, underneath this. This one doesn't have it. The, how, how you used to take it apart was you have to take these two out, move it back a little and then you can get to it. On this one, it doesn't have it. So let's get to it. This one's small and this one's long. First you gotta take the bottom housing of the trigger off. Comes out like that. Then you can remove the top. Very easy to do. This is the stock. You're gonna put that aside. On me, my old one, I had uh, I had a, two screws over here in the front, and then one screw with a long um, bolt in the back. This one it has just a, some kind of a pin to retain it in the front, and just a screw in the back. It's a little bit different. Actually, it's not a screw. It's it's a ribbon you pop through. I'll show you guys. Just push it through and out. I like the old one better. I might be able to do something and get it that way, but and this just slides out like that. As you can see, it's a little dirty, but we'll clean it all up in a bit. This is as far as down as I take it. Of course, I take this two out. This is spring here with some tension. You gotta move the bolt back and up. Just put your finger in there and move it up and the spring will come out like so. This sits like this on the gun. So it'll be like this. It just sits there. It's a little dirty, you're gonna clean it all up. This is your firing pin mechanism over here. Very simple. Just clean it all out. Clean this guy out too. Clean this all out really quick. I like to use a gun scrubber to clean it and to lube it, I use Remington oil. This is one of the best in my opinion, but everybody's different. It just used to rag. You spray some of this down. Oh, that one broke. Luckily, I had another one. Spray it down, like so. Use the rag, clean it all out. 
it really removes all the oils and gum and stuff out of there do the same with this just spread all down remove as much as that old uh, gummed up oils and stuff out of there make sure everything is nice and clean and neat and for the bolt we got a small kit I ordered it a while back another while you guys can see it just a little bit of everything in there gonna be using the small rods with the 22 tips so let me set it up put this on pause all right I'm back got it all set up I'm gonna be using one of these I always use plastic minimize wear on your rifle so I'm gonna be using this guy it's long enough for the barrel go right through and it turns over here it swivels and turns for the threads <laughs> grab a little bit of a um, cleaner spray some down in there I will run it a couple of times, spray it down a little bit more, run it again. I can see stuff coming out of there already. <clears throat> dry watt through it to get any residue out change the tip really quick Catch it at the other end. That'll work better. Good enough. 
run another one through nice and dry just to make sure I got out all of it This stuff works pretty good, fellas. We got a thing that looks real good stuff right there. For a little bit of all these action parts. Smells like alcohol mixed with like ethanol or something. I don't know exactly what it is, but it works pretty good. I'm removing everything. I mean, it's just bone dry when you're done, ready for new oil. You only need a little bit, that's all. Good enough there. Get this guy out. This is your guy rod, make sure you don't lose it. Make sure your firing pin is nice and clean if this moving part inside. That's the most important right there. Extractors too. Make sure the extractors are good. this guy out a little just in case all right let's put it back together this guy sits right in here this guy goes in here like so now, the trick to it is, you got to push the, the guide rod into it, into your housing before you try to put it in there or it won't go in right. I always get this wrong, but let's give it a try. Too many moving parts for me, but we'll see what happens. There we go. And come on now. Don't forget this guy. Good job right there. So we're gonna 
Scoop it up a little now. This Remington stuff works pretty good too. You don't need too much. If you're gonna use the gun for hunting, you don't want too much or the animals are gonna smell it. Whatever you're hunting is gonna smell your way. Even though this, this stuff's not supposed to smell like anything, which it really doesn't. Deer stuff and other animals. Of course, you're not gonna be hunting deer with 22, but other animals, they got a pretty good sense of smell, so they can smell you a mile away. So you gotta take it easy with the loop. That's pretty good right there. Put a little bit more here. Pretty good right there. This guy looks good, clean. So let's put him back in there. So the white piece goes to the back of the gun. Easy enough. And then this guy over here, loop it up. Everything looks in place and looped up pretty good. Just forgot to clean this guy out. Let's clean this guy out really quick. Not much to it, just a trigger, but we gotta clean it out too. Make sure you spray a little bit in the moving parts. Safety too. Make sure it's clean and looped. Alright, that's good enough. Um, in here, there's not a lot of dirt that gets in there, but just in case, rinse it out a little. Now for this, I'm going to use the air. I got a little bit of comp oh, compressed air here. Okay, it just sits there like that. And the final piece right here. Make sure that your uh, magazine lock goes into its rightful place. Careful you put it in so you don't you don't break that little lip. You know, this little area right here is very weak. So make sure you guys don't break that when you're putting it in. You know, you gotta guide it through. Soft. And it's just slice into place nice and soft. Get the two screws. The small one in the front. And the longer one in the back. Like so. Grab the allen. Be 
Do not over tighten these. Make sure it's nice and soft. It's, it's plastic. This whole stock is plastic. It might bend it out of shape. That feels real good. Alright, um, sorry about that folks. I forgot to um, to show you guys that um, it functions just fine. It feeds just fine. This is the magazine for it. The magazine release works just fine too. I'm going to try the slide lock. Slide lock works just fine. And we're going to see if it fits that's the first round I only loaded two rounds to make sure it locks back on the last one there goes one there goes the next one and it locks back just like it's supposed to thanks again guys y'all have a good night hopefully this video help out some people that um, this is different than the new than the older ones that I had uh, but um, the basics are the same. Um, you, anybody can just figure it out on their own. But with this video, there's no figuring out. This is how you do it. This is how you clean it up. This is the material that I use. Everybody uses something different. This is what works for me. I like Remington oils. They don't smell like anything, even though they probably do But to animals. But to me, it doesn't smell like anything at all. At all. And this stuff cleans it pretty good. Thanks again. Y'all have a good night.